tolerated. <laughs> like, I want to be accepted. I would like to see my daughter grow up in a world where she feels comfortable to be herself. There's definitely challenges being a working mom and I think one of the challenges is reshaping your boundaries. My grandma was one of the first women in Belgium to go to university. That's super inspiring, right? Diversity and inclusion requires patience and it requires a cultural change. I notice a lot of fear, fear of the unknown, but the output and the performance of diverse teams is better. AB InBev is the world's largest brewer. We are truly global. We have the most iconic beer brands in the world. People have been drinking beer for thousands and thousands of years. You can be a king, you know, you can be working on a farm. Historically, everyone's always drank beer together. It's the ultimate social equalizer. For me, diversity and inclusion means that everyone can be their authentic selves and know that you have a seat at the table. So at AB InBev, what we wanted to do is ensure that diversity and inclusion is fully integrated in our business strategy. AB InBev is unique because of our culture. Dreaming big and going after it. You feel the drive of people. You feel the common feelings of going the extra mile, of, of being there united together. AB InBev, it's always the people first and everything else comes second. We are a company that lives on big dreams and big ambitions that creates a culture of meritocracy. Hey, this is the first company I've worked in where there were so many languages. I was like, this is amazing. We lead a very diverse category. If you think about the communities that we serve, you know, our business should look like that. Our purpose is to create a future with more cheers. Our people are our greatest strength, and we really want every individual to bring their authentic self to work. There's more than just a person in front of the computer or in the meeting room. We are all individuals who are different. We operate in the markets that we serve. And, and that means that, you know, the impact that we can have as a large player is significant. ABMF does not exist without the communities that surround it. There's so many people around a big company like ours that are relevant to us and to whom we are relevant in turn. If we can we claim to like know the marketplace, then we need to understand who they actually are and we need to be representative of them. It's something that is considered from the very beginning right through the process to the very end and it needs to become a part of the brand's DNA. We're still 40% women, 60% men, still predominantly white, so there's still work to be done. Having a more diverse and inclusive environment will make us our, our company future-proof. I would like to live in a world where diversity and inclusion is so ingrained in who we are, what we do, that we don't need to have a conversation about it. I can do all the things in life that I find important. If we as people can get together to facilitate that for the world, there'll be no end to opportunity, creativity, freedom and expression. And really we can get to show the very best of, of humanity. I feel like I finally found my voice as a black woman and I'm, I'm not prepared to lose it. I'm not going to lose it. <laughs>